what we have right here is the Star Destroyer, the Google Pixel 4a. Let's see if this is the flagship killer that everybody in the industry has been talking about. Let's see if Google hit it out the park with this one. What up world, it's Carmella Kingdom Tech. If you're looking for some of the dopest and unique merchandise on the net, check out LimitlessHustle.store. Everything from t-shirts to handbags to hoodies, they got you covered. So check out LimitlessHustle.store. All right, let's get this bad boy open. See what's inside. All right, they got the phone. They got your SIM card instructions. You're invited to the SIM free life. Let's take this phone out. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. Cardboard. All right. We got the instruction booklet. SIM tool on the back. Don't forget to remove that. Some people throw that away. Forget the SIM tool. Charging cable. Power brick, fast charge power brick, and this is the transfer adapter. You'll need this if you want to transfer from phone to phone. And that's all that comes in the box. Let's get this sticker off. Nice crispy phone. Nothing like it. Shiny, crispy smell. Everything is good. Let's get into it. Okay, here's the phone. It has a smooth textured matte black finish. It only comes in black. The fingerprint sensor is right in the middle, which is actually how I prefer it. I don't like the fingerprint sensors on the front. It has three buttons on the side, volume rocker and the power button. The buttons seem to be a little extra clicky. Very, very, very clicky. Speaker on the bottom, USB type C, fast charging. We got headphone jack on the top and that's pretty much it pretty slick okay now let's talk about the screen the screen is an OLED 1080p display and like most OLEDs it's not gonna get very bright but the combination of being 1080p and OLED display makes for very good battery life the battery on this phone is very good Let's check out some video and see how it looks. From this video, you're not really going to tell like the sharpness or how crazy the picture is, but I am watching a 4K video and it looks really good in person. So don't let nobody knock the display and say, oh, it's only 1080p, it's not 4K. The speakers are also very good. People have knocked that, I've seen in videos, but I think they're above average and they will do the job just fine. So it's smooth, it's bright, it's not super bright, but it's going to get the job done. Okay, the biggest complaint you hear about this phone is the processor. Everybody talks about how it only has a Snapdragon 730, which obviously Google put in there to save costs. Most flagship phones have those 850s and 860 Snapdragons. But, as you can see, I loaded Call of Duty Mobile on here, and it seems to be running it just fine. No hiccups, no delays, none of that, no screen tearing or whatever. I don't really play games on my phone, so I'm not the best judge of that. So I just picked out the most popular and the biggest game. And with the amount of RAM, it seems to be running it pretty good. I don't see no screen tearing, anything. So I don't know what the complaint is about, but the Snapdragon 730 runs just fine. Everything that you run on it should have no problems. Google, YouTube. Every other app I run that has not had any problems whatsoever. So if you're a hardcore gamer, I really don't know what this phone will do for you. Because like I said, I don't play games. I'm trying this game out. As you can see, I suck. Actually, I'm not doing too bad. But So I don't really know what you know is hard on the phone like that you would need those high-end processors. So the process is just fine. So I didn't do any multitasking on this phone. But for regular straightforward apps, it is very good. I mean, who's going to run a Call of Duty and multi at the same time? That's talented. But anyway, any app is fine. I ran all the apps that I usually run, YouTube, Chrome, uh, this Call of Duty, email, whatever. Runs it fine. There's no problem. I guess, you know, the display of 1080p combined with the processor makes for a good combination. So no problems there. And now for the start of the show, the camera. 
Anybody who knows anything about Pixel phones know that they have some of the best cameras in the smartphone game. This is a 12.2 megapixel camera, single lens with autofocus and dual phase detection. The front facing cameras, an 8 megapixel hole punch design, not that square, doesn't have a notch, which is what I prefer. I prefer the hole punch. It's 8 megapixel fixed focus at 2.0 aperture. So it's going to do pretty good with selfies and other stuff like that. Okay, let's take a look at some pictures. Right here we have an outdoor shot of the park, brightly lit by the sunlight. Nice crisp details. Okay, here's that same shot at 2x zoom. Same thing. Nice details, nice HDR. Very, you know, very nice. Nice and crispy. Okay, for those of you who don't know, Google phones have a feature called Night Sight. With Night Sight, you can take pictures in very low light conditions and they will come out great. These are the two same pictures from before. I took them again at night and look at how they came out. Okay, now let's take a look at some object shooting. This is my girl Storm. Took a regular room light, no fancy lighting, nothing. And as you can see, the picture came out pretty good. Very detailed, very sharp. See all the colors in the placement, things like that. Now let's take a look at the same picture with low light. Now this picture I took with the lights completely off. And as you can see, there's like a hue from the flash in it. It still did a pretty good job for, like I said, the lights being completely off and complete darkness. Just the moonlight coming in from the background. Okay, let's take a look at some portrait shots. This is a close-up portrait shot. As you can see, the phone does a good job of capturing the near-field object while giving that nice blur in the background. So when you take your portraits, you can expect very good quality, very detailed, and up-close portraits. Okay, who is this phone for and who should buy it? This phone is for anybody who is looking for a great phone that doesn't have the latest and greatest, all the bells and whistles, but still demands a decent camera. That's who this phone is for. So let's get into some of the pros and some of the cons of having this phone. All right, so now for the cons, and there aren't many. It's kind of that plastic body. I'm not feeling the plastic body at all. It does feel cheap and it does feel, you know, like that's the biggest place where they did cut costs. But on the bright side, all you got to do is get yourself a nice case and a nice screen protector and the body is good to go. My only other gripe with this phone is that they released this phone in August and then about a month later, they released a 5G version, which costs more. I think they would have hit a grand slam if they released one version that was 5G and made it the same price overall. That would have been excellent on Google's part and they would have sold a lot more phones. Okay, let's talk about the pros, and there are a lot of them. First off is the camera. The camera is really, really good. I mean, for $349, you're getting an excellent camera. Two, the screen. The screen is very good. The OLED display at 1080p is very good, which also leads to excellent battery life. The, ba the battery life on this phone is excellent. You will go all day and barely, you know, you won't have to hit that charger, which that means that's very good. The storage. The storage on this phone is excellent. 128 gigs of storage. That's unheard of for the phone at this price point. And then you have Android. This is basically bare bones Android, and that's the way it should be. None of that bloatware, none of that extra skin stuff. This is how Android should be. Just a couple of gestures that Google throws in here and there, but they're all good. So that's excellent, and the phone is excellent. If you want to check this phone out, I'll leave links in the description below as long as probably some cases. So till next time, y'all, don't sleep. Peace.